Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Cited. This is Jesse, a.k.a. BGFH, and I am back for, yes, another Xbox One game spotlight video. And I realized that um, I'm going to be lumping these games all kind of in together under Xbox One because, to be fair, that's where I'm going to play them all. In the past, we've looked at some backwards compatible games from the Xbox 360. We've looked at a couple games that have been on the Xbox One itself. And believe it or not, we're actually going to be looking at, in the future, a backwards compatible game from the original Xbox, which I just haven't got around to playing yet, but I'm absolutely going to. However... Comic Jumper. Crackdown. 8 of 37. Selected. What we are looking at today is I have not even jumped into this game yet because I just want to start this fresh and go by what I, like, see how much I remember and just see how the game holds up. Uh, just the other day as I'm recording this, Crackdown opened up under backwards compatibility for Xbox One. And Crackdown has a really interesting kind of a background to it. Um, <clears throat> when I, like, I didn't really follow it at all, wasn't really interested, you know, just kind of, oh, okay, I think I heard about it here and there. And at the time, I was still actually pretty into Halo. You know, I loved Halo 1. I played Halo 2 quite a bit. Um, Halo 3 I was pretty excited for, but that's kind of where I fell off. Um... But prior to Halo's release, this little game called Crackdown came out. Comic Jumper, Crackdown, 8 of 37. And Selected. basically, the interesting thing about that was is that when you bought the game, you got a, it was a beta code, I think, for the Halo 3 multiplayer. So you kind of got a sneak peek at that. Um, and most people bought Crackdown just so they could get the code. I was sort of part of that, although by the time I looked at, you know, by the time I looked more fully into the game to see if I really wanted to get it for the code, the game actually started to look kind of neat. And turns out when I got it, I played the Halo beta and found almost immediately that I sucked horribly bad, kind of as I thought I would. So I really didn't, okay, I'm like, okay, I get an idea what the graphics are like, we're good. And I just felt deep into the rabbit hole. Like, I, I played the heck out of Crackdown. And uh, I've mentioned it in other games, like Saints Row 4, collecting the data clusters, the shiny, collecting shiny objects, the orbs. That's where this comes from. It is an open world, I would call it like a super cop game. You're not a superhero uh, in, a, in a direct sense, but you're kind of this crazy super cop working for the agency. And it's got one of the coolest announcers that I just, it it's so memorable. Thrills for kills, Agent. Thrills for kills. Let's go. Let us go into Crackdown. I'll talk more about it as we go here. Unfortunately, since we're going to be starting from the beginning here, I, I have the original disc, but I wanted it on the Xbox One digitally just because this is a game that I want on my hard drive. I will play this from time to time. I will... Always have time to click some orbs. All right, Xbox 360. Microsoft. And this was a this was an exclusive. This was an exclusive game. Uh, Crackdown 2 came out a few years later. I was everyone was super hyped for it, but I, it, it wasn't very good. I honestly didn't play more than a couple hours of it. I tried to like it. I wanted to like it. I just couldn't do it. Um, they added the... It was like more kind of darker. It had these like zombie things everywhere. And it just didn't... You had to defend against these like generator things or something. And I... I there were just things I just did not like about that game. I mean, you had the collecting, which is a good part of it, but I it just still... Mm -mm. Okay, so we're going to go in here. Oh, okay, yeah, we're going to use my profile. 
Hopefully we won't have to go, oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Hopefully we won't have to uh, go through too much nonsense to get this game a rolling. So we have, uh, we have a campaign, we have a time, oh, time trials, okay, I don't even remember doing that. Downloads, extras, and quit, or, oh, extract and quit. Let's go campaign and okay. Um, so we can be oh, okay. We can be the character. Let's see here. Um, play solo. Play co-op or okay. Uh, can I? How do? Why wouldn't it let me change? Oh, tough, ruthless, psych, <laughs> nice, psychotic, or psychotic, I mean. Psychotic, I'm thinking a psycho stick. <laughs> All right, so t that's kind of a misleading thing, actually. Tough, you would kind of think as a, as a harder difficulty level, um, but that is the equivalent of easy, and I'm totally fine with that because Especially toward the end, this game got hard. So I can be a few people here. I'm just going to be the original dude here. And we're going to play solo. I never got a chance to play because I didn't really know anyone at the time who played this. Um... I didn't actually play this co-op, but I could see that being kind of fun, actually. So let's go. Cool logo. Kind of got this diamond shiny. Kind of reminds me of like the Deus Ex spinny logo loading screen a little bit. All right, here we go. It's all gone to shit and it just keeps rising. Now it's about to hit the fan. With the world on the edge of anarchy, all forms of policing across the globe combined forces to form the agency. But it wasn't enough. Three rival factions now control our capital, Pacific City. The agency is making its last stand in a high security compound known as the Keep. Access is restricted, and our limited force of peacekeepers can barely hold the fort. Desperate times require desperate measures. The agency is exploiting the work of disgraced scientist Dr. Baltazar Chernenko. His controversial human modification program is now being used to create new recruits for the agency. New agents of justice, capable of unparalleled evolution and regeneration. The agency's first prototype is ready to take to the streets. Yeah. Not a moment too soon. This is war. A war on crime. Awesome. Welcome to the agency, Agent. I'm your main point of contact and the closest thing you have to a friend. I'll guide you and keep you informed of the latest agency intelligence to help you rid Pacific City of its three biggest gangs. Your primary objective is to remove each gang's kingpin, Los Muertos charismatic Don Domingo El Brazo Garcia, the Volt's autocratic Vladimir the Wolf Goliak, and the Shy Gen's enigmatic Wang. Oh. Agency Intel that suggests that you weaken each kingpin's defenses by locating and removing their generals first. Right. It's time to get out into the field, Agent. We have some revolutionary new agency vehicles waiting for you at the base of the keep. Oh, I don't care about your vehicles. I'm all about acrobatics in this game. All right. So there is kind of your intro background to the story. And it is the agency garage. Stand on the purple authorization point to gain clearance, then choose an agency vehicle. Use the tunnels beyond the blast doors to drive to a district in the city. So before I go on there, so let's let's explore our controls a little bit. So I've the nice thing is is I've actually got a lock on. Uh, there's nothing to lock on here, but I think if I hold in the left trigger and... Oh, weird. I can jump with the right stick. I didn't know I could do that. That's weird. So, look at this. I, I can jump high, but not really. 
when you get upgraded in this game later on, like, you can literally jump, um, like, stories tall, and you can pick, I think B might pick, or, gra yeah, uh, okay, that's a kick. I don't remember what the grab button is. Oh, I do have grenades. Boom, okay. Just trying to get the hang of the controls. Uh, D-pad, oh, what does that do? Well, that's cool. I get a scope kind of a thing. I'm just trying to remember what the heck. All right, we'll figure it out as we go here. And I press Y, okay. And what do we got here? Yep, just go in. So... You can do a lot of vehicle stuff if you want to. The district beyond that blast door is controlled by Los Muertos. Agency intel is now downloading to your personal network. Los Muertos, the dead, have rapidly grown from a petty band of Central American drug dealers into a significant narcotics operation dominating the two islands forming Pacific City's east side, a district now known as La Mugre, the dirt. The gang's death designation was originally chosen to strike fear into those who might dare stand in their way. Now their name is more associated with the consequences of their vile trade. Los Muertos are formidable fighters with remarkable brute strength and brutality to match. They are also renowned vehicle specialists, stealing and customizing the finest cars and vans before using them to great effect in crimes and getaways. Be aware that La Mugre's South Island is packed with rooftops that present an ideal retreat for athletic agents under extreme duress. Hmm, I wonder... Let's not go there just yet. I want to see... If I... We'll just see all three of them here. <clears throat> I like how they just spawn a car. Because I think that one you, like, that one I kind of want to do as I'm later on. Because they had mentioned a lot of rooftops, and I'm not that leveled up yet. Let's see what this one says. Oh, okay, well. So we're going to go out of our thing here. Guaranteed supply of weapons and ammunition. You need to regain control of agency supply points. These covert nodes are strategically placed throughout the city, but all are currently under gang control. You need to take one back now. A marker on your HUD will show you the way. Whee! We sent peacekeepers to take back the captured agency supply points, but they weren't successful. All right. So here's the thing. I can get out. And I gotta be careful who I take out because I can actually target the cops. And that's when I originally played this, like I knew I had a lock on, but I didn't realize that like... So there we go. Those guys, see those uh, with the little symbols above their heads? They're the same color as me. Do You can lock onto them, but you don't want to. And originally, like I said, I didn't pay attention to that. And I remember when I first played this, I'm like, what the hell? Why do they keep coming after me? Um, so, oh, where do I begin? So, I could get into any of these cars. It's your typical open world type of game. Barrels like this are highly explosive, Agent. So be careful not to be within the blast radius when you shoot one. Boom. Wow, I was that was still within the, in the blast radius? Holy hell, okay. You hear that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That, my friends, is an orb. Ha ha! Give me. The addiction begins. Alright, so I can't even reach the. I, I can't even reach up here yet. So, because I can. Well, let's see. And there's different orbs that, like, they give you different... God dang it. They give you different uh, abilities, like... There's agility orbs, and I forget Good all job, the agent. categories, but... Um, but basically... God, where do I begin? So, like I said, you're this uh, kind of a super cop. 
Um, you have these vehicles, and like I said, there are races, there are events. You can get all kind of cars for your garage. Um, but your agency car, basically, you can morph. It has this cool morphing ability if you do enough of the events, and then it can you can kind of change it into like it's just kind of crazy. Um, but I never really got into the vehicles much. Like I said, I. I, the only thing I would use vehicles for is I would roll up onto a hideout and, like, run people over, bash down barriers or whatever. And that was really about it. Um, I was all about going on foot and just wrecking stuff. And, like I said, the orb collection is just a thing. So I think if I hit... Yeah. Oh, my God, that is small. Can I zoom into that map? Holy crap. I don't remember that being so small. Can I get a better... Ah, uh, if I hit pause... Okay, that's just a pause menu. I do have a mini map. We're just gonna drive around a little bit here. I wanna find some... Uh, some kind of an area to explore. And here's the thing, so... One of the complaints that people had about this game was that it was really repetitive, that you really do the same thing. But when the core gameplay loop of this is just so fun, I really didn't mind. Once I understood like what this game was and kind of got into it, I loved it. Um, so the whole thing is, like I said, you have these three kingpins, and you're trying to take them down, but in order to do... Like, if I wanted to, I could find the end bosses and try to go in there but I would just get massacred like immediately and so the thing is I want to find their little associates and take them down and then that will weaken the other guys so I'm gonna get out here because I'm just gonna want again I want to wander around can I really not jump up that Fresh high? Agency intel for you, agent. Okay. Violeta Santa Maria Sanchez. Hot. Dirty. Deadly. Three choice words used by an undercover officer to describe the persuasive Los Muertos recruiter before he fell foul of her charms and her extreme initiation ceremony. Yeah. Sex and violence are her favored tools. Beyond a severe beating are. lies the allure of an endless and effortless supply of the finest women, narcotics, firearms, and vehicles. Okay, so apparently we've uh, come upon That's somebody's Leia. See the health bars above their head? Oh, gee. Oh, my God. Okay. Hello. Howdy. Hi. You know what? I'm going to actually get in a car, if nothing else, just for protection here. All right, here. Let's, uh... Uh, yeah, I stirred up the hornet's nest here. Let's, uh... I think that's my health, actually. Oh, boy. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go over here. And I just... Com well... This will at least get me out of immediate fire. That was played very, very badly. I apologize. Um, but I just jumped over that fence going, hmm. So, like I said, there's all kinds of... Oh, jeez. You're dead? Oh, this song. This was in... Uh, it's... I don't know who it is. I wonder if I can get in this car. No, I can't get around it. It's like this Mexican rock band or something that it was in this this kind of B tier original Xbox game. Total Overdose is where I heard of it, and man, if I had a way to to play that game on the channel, it'd be kind of neat to do. There was a PC port of it, and how the hell do I get out of here? I'm down in this rocky area. How do I get out? Uh, because I'm not... Okay. Okay, I need out of... This is going to go badly, I know it. Okay, 
You're dead. Ah, here. Now you shouldn't be after me. I'm taking down the bad guys. So hopefully you guys are gonna... Um, Alright, so we got another guy here. We're gonna be a little more methodical. We're not gonna just totally go in there. Okay, we got that guy dead. And I don't have a lot of weaponry. So like I said, I can get better weapons. I can get vehicles. I can... Oh, jeez. Give it... Hey, you're dead. Give. I really should have gone and looked for some orbs, but I didn't know that... Oh my... Okay, I gotta get out of here. That's bad. That's really bad. Get in the van. Get the hell out of Dodge. Why am I taking down... I'm, I'm gonna try to take down this place. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, there we go. Uh-oh. Am I on fire? Yes, I am. I'm gonna get out. Okay. This is real bad. This is real bad. Everyone is just pissed at me right now. Um, I guess I can go up the ramp here. That guy's dead. Oh, no, 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 no. You need to die, sir. Alright. Um... So, I mean, it's literally, it's just chaos. Like, I, if I don't disturb a key hideout, I can go around the city, look for orbs, and collect ammo, and find these little stashes that he was talking about. Alright, so I got some cops helping me. Good, you cover the... You cover me. Oh, jeez. That's a grenade. Um, get up. Okay, we got two cops. And I'm gonna... Yep, blow that. Oh, Jesus. Hi, how you doing? Uh, we'll see what we can do here. Come on, get over to this guy. Sometimes a lock-on's a little finicky, and I have to get used to how this game actually works. Okay, up. Alright. Once you bring gang weapons back to an agency supply point, you can reclaim them from any available agency supply point. Okay, that's good. Lock onto him. Thank you. Thank you, drive through. Come again. Okay. So it's got a regenerating health system, as you can see. Okay, we got some cops in here. We've moved up a little. Ow. All right, we're going to go up. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to take things a little slower. Because I'm really, really weak. I've literally got one orb right now. And ow. Come on. I want to do some orb collecting here, but I... Reload! Oh my god, the, the, you know, the clip on this thing is just ass. Okay, we got those. Ow, where... Okay, here we go, we got another guy over here on the shoot. And I think they keep spawning. I can't remember. Like, I think there's a finite amount, sort of, but... Okay, I'm trying to find this... I gotta make my way up to kill this chick. I think I hear her over there. Okay. So if I go up here... And... I really want a freaking orb. Uh-oh. That's probably not a good sound. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Hey, bub. Come here. Alright, kill you. Here, chuck a grenade. Oh, my God. I just got wrecked. Wow. Okay, I was... That went extremely poorly. <laughs> Death is not the end. 
Advanced cloning technology makes reincarnation a reality. Man. Replacement cloned forms are always in hand, ready to receive your established personality and performance data. All right, so the agency marker on your tracker agent, then take back the agency supply point from enemy hands. I may or may not. I'm just going to go wherever I want. I'm going to see if I can collect some more orbs. I mean, I'd love to go take down that first hideout, but or that stronghold. But uh, I think it's time that we strengthen our character via some orbish goodness. All right, you guys need a little help here. You guys, you guys are okay. You're dead. Hey, no. Okay. Hey, buddy. I didn't do anything to you. All right, so I got the orb up here. That's where that corner was. Let's just walk around. Okay, we got some stairs. I don't hear anything. Oh, they probably wanted me to climb up here and then I would find that orb. That's what they wanted me to do, but I was close enough so it's like, okay, they'll give it to me. Alright, and climb up here. Okay, there's got to be another one up here, I would think. I would hope. Is there one up there? Can I get up there? And this become this this is the game. The distinctive like gang markers on your tracker represent key gang members, your primary targets. They sure do. Oh, hear that? Or be goodness. All right, how do I get up there? That's what this game is like. You're as your especially as your agility grows. Oh, see, there's different kinds. You see, I get a high pitch one there. Okay, let me see if I can... Um... I need it. How the heck am I going to get up? Because it's all blocked off. Violetta is close. The marker on your HUD shows you the way to your target. Yeah, I would love to do that, but I I want orbs, dang it. I want to improve my character a little before I... <sighs> See, I just, I can't jump that high yet. I might have to come back. Because if I go out here, there's this overhang that I don't... F yeah, see... And eventually, like I said, this is going to be nothing. I'll just go and jump way up there. So I guess I'm going to leave those for now. There's at least two up there that I know of. I don't know if, I don't remember if there's fall damage or not. I would like to think, I would like to hope not because, um, you know, just for the simple fact of like is how high you can jump. I don't think. I think there's fall damage, but I can't remember. So, I mean, what I what I really like about this game is just the fact that it gets... You can kind of go do whatever you want. Like, you can kind of start with a territory. You know, you might do the first mission or two a similar way, Completed but then... races increases your agility or driving skills, Agent. All right, so here's my... Oh, okay, they're pissed again. Uh-oh. Hey, um, I should... I want to get some cops in here. Okay, let's go in your hideout here. Oh, there's a barrel. Okay. Oh, so no shit! That was my guy. That was my cop. Oh, I'm so sorry, cop. I totally did not mean that. Well, I'm gonna... I may have just fucked myself over here. Would you lock on? You... Really? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna... 
kick you. Then I'm going to go over here. Yeah, if they're, if they're mad at me, I should just kill myself here just so it'll reset. Um, maybe I can go hide in the corner over here. Regenerate some health. Oh god, that ain't gonna work. I think I... No, I didn't die. Okay. Jump! Yeah, there's so many guys. Oh my god, yeah, I am so weak right now. Okay, those guys are gone. Grab their weaponry here. No. All right, now I got to gang weapon to an agency supply point agent. It will be added to the agency armory so you can pick it up from any agency supply point in the future. Yeah, I understand that. So, the problem is too that there's actually if you don't, you know, do what he tells you, there are there is some like dialogue repetition here. Oh, nice. Two, three hits. That guy's toast. All right, how do I reload? That's what I want to know. Oh, left bumper. Okay. That's a strange reload button, but okay. Here, let's... Okay, you're dead. Oh, God. No, that's okay. Um, we gotta move forward here eventually. Let's go upstairs. Ah! I'm probably biting off way more than I can chew here, but... Okay. This is where I got toasted before. I need to find some cover here. Take things a little more careful-like. I want to get orbs, but I kind of want to do what they... Here, chuck a freaking grenade. I thought I... Reload! Oh my god, people. Yeah, I need, like, to re... I need better weapons. I need to re upgrade my reloading. I need all kinds of... Reload! Mm, there. Okay, get behind my pillar. Reload. There we go, you're dead. Thank you kindly, sir. Much appreciated. Okay, we're gonna duck in behind this dumpster here. Now you, see how it flashes? As you get stronger, you get these orbs. Not only can you like jump higher, but you're also going to be a oh, geez. You're gonna be able to pick up huge things. Like cars, dumpsters, all kinds of stuff. So apparently I'm not following my map and I'm just going here. I don't know. Uh, oh my god, they're they're just angry. Like everybody is just really angry at me right now. I really need some orb goodness. Uh, how the hell am I going to get up? Because it looks like this building here... Okay, so I can climb. See, normally I could... If, again, I could cling up and then you can climb the buildings that way. This isn't... This is before Assassin's Creed. You know, where you could just climb up any old wall you wanted. Um, you actually had to figure out your way to get up there. And I do not currently have the agility that I need. Yeah, see, I hear her. I just can't do anything because I don't... I have, My agility is just awful. Um, and I don't know if there's... Okay, here, you know what? What's that? What's that? You want a bullet in the face? Sure! Not a problem. Glad to help. Glad to help, sir. Okay, we got... Yeah, 
yeah. It's, and it, until you take over the, you know, these different places, like this whole area, this city is just sheer chaos everywhere. Apartment complexes are likely to provide strategic advantages for some gang operations. Yeah, that's cool. Um, complexes are good, but I want. Oh man, I want orbs real bad. And that's gonna be too big. Right, you know what? Get the hell out of here. There, kick him into the car. Are you still not? You're. All right, f you then. There you go. I want shiny objects. I forgot. Oh, here we go. Yay! I got another colored orb. And I forget what each color is. I think if right I looked now, at the you can jump to a height of around ten feet. <sighs> It'll be interesting to see just how high you can leap at your peak. Really, really high. God, they're just everywhere. That you can't walk anywhere without just chaos. That's still not going to be no. Yeah, high of 10 feet, that's... Um... You know, there's some stuff here, but I don't think that's even gonna be... Well, if I... Okay. See, now I can get up to this window here. I wonder... Distinctive agency markers on your tracker show agency supply points under gang or agency control. A suggested route to a strategically advantageous supply point is now projected onto your HUD. I'll get there when I get there. See, now I can... It's slow. But look at this. Now I'm up on a roof. Oh, see? All those shinies over there? Those little pillars of light? Even during the daytime? <laughs> and now you're dead. The more you use firearms to uphold the law, the more precision targeting becomes second nature oh, I should hit your HUD. Man, I should have used the barrel, but you know what? That's okay. We killed him anyway. I just want to look around this roof. So there's nothing on this roof, but... See, there's... Oh, man, there's one right up in front of me. I probably... Oh, the problem is... See, again, this is where... Like, the lower part, I see the windows... If I were able to get up to where those windows are, I could get up there. But from the ground up to that point... Oh, I'm not sure how I'd get there. I could go... Oh, man, I just can't get up. Agent, those peacekeepers need your help. Guess what? Those pe oh man, those pe peacekeepers is just gonna have to wait. Mm -hmm. Okay, these roofs aren't. All right. I'm I'm a weak weak agent right now. Um, but if I went over, oh boy, and I think as you get some of these orbs, like more appear. So, like I said, if you watched my... If you watched my Saints Row the 4th, or Saints Row 4 video... Um... God, oh, Jesus! Basically, what you saw in that game... Is... What this game becomes. Okay, you're dead. Get up there. Uh, okay, I can't grab onto there. Yeah, right now it's just a lot of testing. You know, it's like, can I, am I, can I jump high enough for this? Can I jump high enough for that? And they're probably, they probably do want me to go to certain places like right away. But no, you know what? I'm gonna kick you, and now you're dead. 
Uh oh. They're just waiting everywhere on the streets and stuff. Let's get a different weapon here. Once you bring gang weapons back to an agency supply point, you can reclaim them from any available agency supply point. Okay. Jesus God. Oh, there's an orb! Shiny! Yes! Okay, shiny, shiny, good. Alright, we got another orb. Oh, there's one up there too! I need thee! Damn it! Me and my weak body right now. Okay. Maybe I can, if I go up to here, can I get... Let's see, if I went up that high... No, I'm not going to be able to... Uh, can I grab onto these windows? I don't think so. Damn. Well, I got another orb anyway. Um, let's see, this one I might be able to... Can I... Yes, I can. Uh, it's still not... Oh, that... The nice begin work, Agent. Okay, I didn't do anything, but sure. Uh, I'll take the credit for whatever it is you think I did. Okay, we're gonna... Okay, we got stairs here. Does that do anything for me? Can I bash this open? I don't think so. Alright. Um... Like I said, it, I, I'm weak right now. Moving targets, legs, or wheels to undermine its mobility. Already done that, sir. Uh, the, the the beginning of the game is a little more frustrating because again, you're so weak, you can't jump very high. Um, and I can, you know, I can see where people might get turned off right away, but. The fun in this game comes with just, like I said, the exploration. Whoa, hi. The exploration and the becoming more and more powerful. I mean, by the end of your ga the game, like I said, you can take a lot more damage. You can jump like, f you know, how many stories high? I can literally jump from rooftop to rooftop. Like the nearby agency agility supplement. Indicated by a green glow in your HUD to increase your agility. You'll be able to jump incredible heights once your agility has increased enough. I'm trying remember to remember how agent, the most effective way to develop your physical strength is to use close quarters combat or thrown objects to remove criminals from the streets. Yep. Frickin' reloading. There we go. That was fun. And those will give me more... Okay, I'm gonna go down here because there's other buildings and stuff. And I might be able to get... Again, I'm looking for ways... Oh, there's a barrel there. Oh man, what did I walk into here? Oh, that gun is really good. Damn! I think it just shot sky high. Holy crap, okay. Oh, chain reaction. Good thing I'm hidden back here. Somebody's pissed. Uh, check that, a lot of people are pissed. No, we're gonna jump up. Oh, shut. Get up, agent. Agent. Yes. Yes. And it just becomes this compulsive thing. Like, especially, I love it at night because they're. I mean, you can see them during the day, but like. The best way to affect a gang's effectiveness is to remove its key members. Such as the specialists who affect recruitment, physical efficiency, armed combat capability, uh, and vehicle supplies. I know. I'm looking for more Kill orbs. The generals to weaken each kingpin's defenses, then go after the three kingpins. Yeah, tell me something I don't know, guy. Oh, oh there's another one. Yeah. 
get my agility up here, man. Okay, it's not letting me climb up that. We got some seriously pissed off individuals down below us here. Uh, let's map out. Let's just... I gotta find like a more cluster concentrated building, like area of buildings here. Um, I should grab a car. I bet you'd get more than a healthy workout at Sportiz's. Probably. I, you know, and there's just, like I said, there's so many things. I could go find and go into any of these areas. Like, there's anything from giant hideouts. Agency intel agent. There was one that was like this uh, in the beginning that was, uh... Rodrigo Montaña Alvarez knows no morality, no fear, no boundaries. This mountain of a man rules a brutal pit fighting operation at his sports complex on La Mugre, South Island. He trains the men for his own physical indulgence, showing off his prowess in the ring against multiple assailants. The result, Los Muertos is fit and lethal in close quarters combat. Good, so just shoot him. From a distance. Gotcha. Rodrigo right. Montaña Alvarez. Oh, okay. Okay. Let me see if I can get up on this guy and just kick him in the face. Don't say, I didn't warn you. Don't say I didn't warn you. Holy shit, I'm not even doing damage to him. So this one might not have been the smartest. Got to pick a fight. Okay, he's dead. Reload again. The lock on, I remember being a little frustrating, especially until I got some really good weapons and until, oh no. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's like, there's areas with like tennis courts, there's giant like islands. Oh, uh, this is actually, oh jeez, there's so many freaking guys in here. Oh my god, I need cover! Look at this! There's... Oh my god, I'm so dead. I, I, I need... There, there's nothing that's this pick... Or this metal fence. I can't... Oh, I'm so fricked. I can go in the corner here. Don't reach me. Okay. Kill that guy. Okay, that guy's dead. Ow. See if we can take down one guy. Oh, okay. Go hide again. We're beeping. Huh. Man. Lock onto him. Dag nabbit! Here, chuck a grenade. F you, buddy. There we go. Kill that guy. Okay. Man, there's so many guys. Okay. So many guys. Let's try to thin these out here. So I have a sp kind of a space to retreat from. You're dead. God, these guys are nuts. Alright, where are we going? We're going down. Okay, that guy's dead. Reload. I like... The gun I have is okay. Oh man, what I need is a... I need some cover. I need. Okay, where the hell? Are... Okay, there. Oh, there's a guy around here. Let's. Okay, kill that guy. Kill these. Hit these guys while they reload. Okay, that guy's dead. Okay, you, 
buddy. There we go. Okay. Give me a little hidey hole here so I can recover health if I need. Kill it. All right. Let's just take it slow here. Yeah, this game is fun as hell. Like I said, it's really straightforward. It knows what it is. It's not trying to be anything here. Let's chuck a grenade. Uh, the game knows what it is. You know, it's not trying to do eight... You know, like I said, too many games, I think, nowadays, like, they have so many mechanics in them that, like... I'm going to be the best driving game, and we're going to have missions, we're going to have immersive worlds, and we're going to do this other thing, and... This game just knows what it is, and it does it really well. You know, it's kind of just about this big power fantasy, you know? Okay, I gotta get around this pool. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, where are you shooting me from? Okay, that guy's dead. Ah, yeah, yeah. Kill it. Oh, we got guys up here. Gotcha. Okay. Um. Oh boy, I think. It's. A I think it's actually easier to play at night. Like during the day, it's a little bit harder. Because some of the, like, the arrows and stuff don't stand out as much. What is this? I don't know what I, a little icon there. Oh! Frickin' A, man! Wow. Foobar, man. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Running. Running. Oh, man. This is bad. Okay, that guy's dead. It'll be a miracle if I can live. Ah! Here. Ah! Kill it. You sure do like to push your luck. I'm trying. Yeah, Los Mortos is pissed. Okay, uh... Oh god, hey, lock on! Thank you for shopping at Death Mart. Okay, here we go. I want to go collect orbs, but I want to... And die. Yeah, so we gotta go up these stairs. And I have a feeling that by the time I get up there, like, I'm just gonna get freaking wrecked. Okay. okay that guy's gone. I wanna try to. Oh my god. I wanna try to get. You know, like, so they're not hitting me from above. Like, if I can get better ground on them, then they at least have to come up to me. Um, and it, this is where co-op would be, I think, a lot of fun. Okay, there we go. Kill that guy. And these guys are just going insane. And I'm hoping that there would be orbs or something along the way up. Oh man. It's getting kind of real up here. Up in this business. Okay, uh, well, we're reaching the top of whatever building this is. Uh, do I have to jump the rest of the way up? Oh man, there's a sh 
Ooh, can I? I can. Oh, you're mine. Uh oh. You need to perish, sir. Okay. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm probably not even going the right way. I'm just having fun, like, exploring and shooting stuff. Um, but it appears, like, even though there's stairs up here, I mean, I got... So there's that guy's pool again. Okay, so I gotta find out where this guy... He's down... So he's down further, I think. Kill as many of his henchmen I, as I can. Because I hear that guy yelling at me, and that's... The main guy that's yelling at me, I think, is my... Nemesis that I'm trying to take down here. Here. Suck on the... Uh-oh. Okay, yes, I leveled up. Excellent. Oh, that is not excellent. You need to die. Very, very much. Okay, let me recover a little bit here. Alright, uh... I don't know where he is. I'm too busy to look at my mini-map. See, again, that's where, like, the mini-map and so, geez. Okay. I, I, what I'm also trying to figure out is I'm trying to remember if... If they uh, respawn, or if I can whittle them down enough to where then he won't have as many defenses, and I can roll up on his, roll up on him, and then take him down without as many of his minions to help him. Is what I want to figure out. But man, they don't seem to be thinning out at all, do they? Okay, that guy's dead. Yeah, you need to shut the hell up. I'm... Uh oh, oh! Apparently, there's fall damage. Uh, I think. Yep. Okay. Uh, we found him, and I. Yeah. So guess what? There is fall damage. <laughs> um. All right then. I guess that ends that. But I got experience. I leveled up my There's firearm an skill. Agility supplement nearby, agent. Yeah, yeah. I recommend you seek out and reclaim additional agency nodes, agent. They make moving around the city much easier and faster. Yeah. I'll play a little bit more. I'll go off in a little bit different direction when I get out of here. Agent, you should seriously consider reclaiming an agency supply point. I will eventually. Must get more orbs, dang it. We're just gonna skip those guys. We're gonna go up here. And cruise around a little bit here. Let's just let's find a bunch of like build let's find a bunch of bigger buildings that I might be able to locate some. There we go, jeez. Here, let me do this. And then I'll jump on my car. Uh. Okay, then we'll see. Then I can use that to get up there. I can tell you to F off. Jump up here. Still not high enough. Crap, okay. Um, but this is, you know, again, like... Ooh, um, this was one of the first games... I really got hooked on on the Xbox 360, you know? Like I said, we I played Halo, uh, the demo, but I just, I fell in love with this game, and I just got hooked on, like I said, the traversal, the shooting. This is also right around the time when I got my 360 originally, I was playing with, oh, these guys again. 
for your convenience, gang members are shown on your tracker in three states. Gray are patrolling, yellow are actively seeking you out, and red are engaged in combat. Um, th it was Agent, right around the, the time I got my... The left-hand side of your HUD shows oh, the up. development of your core skills. Agility, driving, explosives, strength, and firearms. There you go. Um, but right around the time I got my first HD TV, and I... When I got my Xbox 360 originally, I actually was using this... TV box. I can't even remember what it was. I think it was like a some kind of hophog or hophog. I don't know how you say the name, um, but it was this TV box that I I don't even know if I have it anymore. It's probably in my closet somewhere. Um, but you'd connect it to your computer and or your monitor, and then you would have you could. I I didn't use it for TV, but I use it for running my game consoles through my monitor. Uh, but then I'm like, okay, you know, let's let's actually get an HD TV because all these Violetta is close. The marker on your HUD shows you the way to your target. These TV tuners and stuff, they were all standard definition. And when you're looking at Xbox 360, they, you know, of course you're looking at high def. And especially when you're looking at text as a low vision person, uh, I remember there was a, there was another game called Dead Rising, which I haven't covered on the channel yet. But that game was something else, man. Uh, even fully sighted players complained about the game. the The game itself is really cool, but <laughs> they didn't really know how to do text very well yet, and the, so people on standard definition TVs could hardly read anything. I couldn't read anything, hardly. And, uh... Like, even on an H... Like, they were designing for an HD resolution, so the text was just ungodly small. Um... Those Muertos gang members are thick on the ground here, Agent. Agency intel suggests an apartment block in this district is acting as a focus for gang operations. Yeah, I gotta find out what that apartment complex is. Just kind of wandering around here. I'm listening for orbs is what I'm doing. I'm not wandering around aimlessly. I'm trying to listen if there's any orbs I can find. But yes, now that I have this game installed, um, I mean, you know, I'm probably not going to hardcore it, but uh, I this is a game where I could just, you know, I want to play something fairly mindless. I mean, it's definitely tense, for sure. Okay, I heard one. It's time I, to show those peacekeepers how it's done, Is there Agent. one up there? Okay, there, I know there's one up on that building over here. Yo. Remember, oh, there's nothing to grab the on to. to access the latest agency intel about the gangs and their locations. God dang it. You might want to bulk up some more before trying to handle something as heavy as that. Yeah, I can't. So if I wanted to get up on that building, could I get on this? Oh, it's just still too tall. I need like a near another nearby building that I could. And again, like I said, especially in the beginning, before you're, oh, it's just getting worse. Everything is getting taller. Like they they tease you because there's so many things that are just out of reach, and you're like, I hear it, I see it, I physically just can't get to it. Um, and like I said, the more you play, the more this game just opens up. Agent, use the dossier to access the latest agency intel about the gangs it's and their right locations. It's right there. It's right there. I might be able to, can I? No, I can't grab onto the top, just the bottom. No, um, I haven't given up completely. I know it's just one measly orb, but oh no, that wasn't enough on the other side. All right, frick it. Uh, 
taunting me with orbs I can't can't have. But I think we're gonna wrap it up here in a in a minute or two. Um, like I said, this is the game. You know, you bring back weapons, you bring back vehicles. Like you can bring stuff back to your HQs and like you know basically build your inventory of weaponry, your inventory of gang markers vehicles, your, your key gang members, your primary targets. Anything you can pick up and throw can be used as a weapon. As your strength increases, you can use more of the it... environment for offensive measures. Yeah, what he said. You can do that too. I want to bash the crap out of people because then I get more points for it. Or get, you know, the more you do, the more you actually get rewarded for it. Okay, that guy's dead. Reload a little bit here. Oh yeah, we got everybody on our ass again. Uh, I have no idea where I am right now. But, um, yeah, this brings back all kinds of memories, man. I played this a lot, and I could totally see this being fun in cooperative play as well, especially with friends that you know, not a bunch of randos. But, um, I'm so glad Microsoft is actually implementing backwards compatibility for their, you know, not just 360. But we're even getting some original Xbox games. So again, you know, maybe I'll hold out hope for a Burnout 3, uh, a Burnout 3 takedown compatibility at some point. I mean, it's training videos are available for you, Agent. Take a look in your dossier to see what advanced agents can really do. You know, it's not out of the realm of possibility. Is it likely? Eh, I don't know. I guess it depends on you know, like the rights and stuff, but. Yeah, it's... Oh, yes, we got one right here. I'm hoping that my... I'd love to get, like, another agility level up to be like, hey, you can jump this far now. Uh, that one I might be able to get on that building. If I don't die. Ow! Okay, that's kind of high. Um, I know I said I was going to quit, and, like, I, I keep getting distracted and keep wanting to play. Again, that's a sign of a really good game, you know? You just want to keep playing. Keep playing. And I'm probably going to die. So we'll just fight it out until I do die. And then we'll close up the video here. Where the heck am I? What the hell building is this now that I'm in? Lock on to him. Oh, that would be the one thing that I really got to get used to is that stupid lock on. And Crackdown 3 is supposed to be coming. You know, you know they, they've been teasing it now since the Xbox One launch. And I hope they learn from what people didn't like about Crackdown 2. I really, really want to like Crackdown 3, and I want it to come sooner rather than later. So. When that does come, definitely expect a video for that. Um, I really, really want to play it. Um, hopefully it's... I don't know if it'll have more of a story, if it'll just be, again, here's another city, go wreck some stuff. I don't know, but... I know they were talking about at one time, you know, like, oh, we're going to have this online cloud thing and the whole city is going to be destructible and all kinds of craziness. I think seems like they may have backed off on that plan a little bit in the last year or so, because from what I've heard, like, the development has been in trouble on that for a little while. Like, the game just wasn't coming together. They released a trailer for it last year's E3. Um... And I heard mixed things about what they saw on the show floor, so... I don't know what to expect, but I really, really want another good Crackdown game. But nevertheless, super glad the original is playable on a modern uh, 
console. It's downloadable. I have it on my hard drive now, so I can play it anytime I desire. Um, yeah, I'm actually surviving longer than I thought I would in this melee of chaos. Must kill more people. Oh jeez, that would be an explosion. Oh. Yeah, I think when that goes off, uh, that's going to trigger more guys coming in. Uh, okay, let's jump up here. This is that apartment complex that that, that guy was talking about. I'm trying to remember what I have to do in order to take over. Like, I think I gotta go up to the top and try... Okay, that guy's gone. Uh, probably just got a roof over our head. And it's kind of hard to... Gotta be a way up. Yeah, that guy's gone. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. How you doing? Okay. Oh. Here we go. I'll go until I die here. Or if I can beat. I think this might be that lady that we were trying to take down or something. Because she's. Mopping off to me here. Lock on! You're like right in front of me and you're not... You're just not doing it. So that's where melee can come in to at least knock them down so they can't shoot you uh, as easily. That combination can ha come in handy. I'm just going to go all the way up to the top. Like, oh. Climb up. We're broken. Okay, we're up high. Might be able to find some orbs up here too. Make sure I'm reloaded. God, there's all kinds of people just going. Rrr. All right, here we go. Oh, what do I hear? I hear orby goodness. I better be able to get up there. I'm going to be angry. Collect the nearby agency agility supplement, indicated by a green glow in your HUD, to increase your agility. Uh, You'll be able to jump. Uh, he won't let me up there. Agility has increased enough. You dirty bastard! Oh, uh, let okay. Jump up the roof. No, I said jump up. You're just taunting me, and it's driving me nuts. Oh boy, we got all kinds of chaos going out there. Arg! I want that orb, and I just... It's not... There. That guy's dead. Let me try to... I mean, I grabbed onto the... Okay, I grabbed on. But I can't... Come on! Yes! It's all I care. I got my orb. My work here is done. Okay, not really, but let's go over to this guy. Okay, that guy's dead. Ah, another one. Now we're... Uh-oh. Oh, I think I can jump higher now. Your typical running speed is increased, and you can now jump to a height of around 15 feet. Excellent. I can jump higher. We. Oh yeah. Okay. Hey, I'll take what I can. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna try not to, but I don't think I can lock on to anybody over here. You know what? I get orbs. I'm happy. Hey, you're 
are dead. Oh, sh oh God! No! Uh oh. That was close. Okay, you're. Oh no, no! Oh, I think I was getting close to her. Man, okay, well, that's where we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, we got some kills in. I got my agility up. I can run faster. I can jump higher. Uh, that is kind of your gameplay loop. Like I said, you can go take out. Um, each person has different types of uh, abilities. You know, you might get some guys that are really. Uh, you know heavily armored you might get guys that have certain types of weapons a gang you know a type of gang you might get uh, I remember there was somewhere you're literally dodging rocket launchers and trying to snipe people from far away because that's like the main way you can get in um, <clears throat> you know like I said using cars is like I, I would I remember there was one mission there was like this bridge going into this island uh, compound and there was this big gate to get in. I could go around the side, but I, I took these cars. There was a bunch of these cars outside of the bridge. And I took them in. And I kind of used them as like rolling grenades. I would just roll them up into like a whole bunch of people. And then I would shoot or, you know, try to chuck my own grenade at them and just cause this massive explosion and take away a lot of the, the ground floor defense. So, you know, again, it's, it's really... <laughs> What I like is that it's just so wide open as far as how you approach it, you know? How do you want to play? What weapons do you want to use? Do you want to use vehicles more? Do you want to uh, whatever? But it's all about taking down these major gangs and then the CD Kingpin. That is Crackdown um, on the Xbox 360, also backwards compatible via the xbox one and i hope that crackdown 3 comes out soon and i hope it's at least as awesome as the first game hope you guys enjoyed the video follow me on twitter at bgfh79 and until next time i will talk to you guys again later